prices soaring through the roof to visit your favorite professional franchises, now would be a good time to go take the family and visit some of the local high schools and some of the great sporting events taking place right in your neighborhood. You need more proof? Well, check out our highlights of the week and top stories. Two of the area's perennial top teams squared off for an early season matchup when West Orange visited Montclair. The Mountaineers started their season with a 2-0 victory over the Mounties. West Orange scored early when a shot by Jelani Williams hit off the post and was deflected in by Montclair defenders five minutes into the game. Fabricio Acosta scored on a shot from 25 yards out in the game's 50th minute. Montclair fell to 1-1 one one after opening the season with a road win over Belleville. Glenridge started off its season with a win, coming away with a 5-1 victory over Montclair Kimberly Academy. After leading 2-1 at halftime, Glenridge struck three times in the second half to open up the lead. Claire Malone totaled a goal and two assists, and Sarah Malone, Caroline Thiel, and Meliosa Barstow each connected on a goal, and Mary Alotti added two assists. Montclair Kimberly Academy opened the season with a 3-1 win over Newark Academy. Glen Ridge came into the season opener against Cedar Grove, riding an 18-game losing streak against the Panthers. Glen Ridge ended the negative streak in resounding fashion, winning 30 to nothing over Cedar Grove at Hurl Field in Glen Ridge. Senior quarterback Elijah Conti completed 11 of 18 passes for 111 yards and a touchdown, and also rushed for a score to give Glen Ridge the win. Glen Ridge jumped out to an early lead after Frank Rolo returned a punt. 45 yards to open the scoring with 8.03 left in the first quarter. The Glen Ridge defense rose to the occasion, limiting Cedar Grove to just 42 yards in the first half and minus four total yards in the second half. Conti connected with Mike Rolo on a seven yard touchdown pass for a 16-0 lead and Rolo broke off a 66 yard scoring run with 5.41 to play. The Montclair Mounties provided a wild finish in their season opener, scoring on the last play of the game to secure a heart-stopping 27-22 win over Union City in Montclair. Down 7-0, Montclair tied the game at 7 when Ahmad Bush caught a 12-yard touchdown pass from Khalif Urban. Later in the third period, Stefan Marshall scored on a 2-yard touchdown run to knock the score at 14-14. Montclair scored with 1.10 left in the game when Ahmad Bush hurled in a 12-yard touchdown pass from Urban to take a 21-14 lead. But Union City came right back and scored to take a 22-21 advantage with only 10 seconds remaining. With just 7 seconds left, Nate Crutchfield connected with Urban on a short pass. Urban eluded a defender and raced 65 yards into the end zone for the winning score and no time showing on the clock. Urban completed six of seven passes for 100 yards and two touchdowns and rushed eight times for 59 yards. Bush aided in the aerial attack, catching five passes for 71 yards and two scores, while the ground game was led by Marshall with 54 yards on 13 attempts and Aubrey Lewis with 45 yards on nine carries. It's time for our weekly profile and you talk about traditions in high school football, Dennis Jones. Nothing like the legacy of football coaches at Montclair High School. Clary Anderson, Butch Fortunato, Jack Davies, Ed Labita, and now John Fiore arrives on the scene. Well, that's right, John Fiore, successful at Neptune, making the playoffs a few times there. So he comes into Montclair, Steve, and Media Day, you participated in a few weeks ago. Tell us what that was all like. Uh, it was a great kickoff to the season, Dennis. Had a chance to sit down with the players and coaches. Coach Fiore, Ahmad Bush, Aubrey Lewis, they all talked about the season ahead. Steve Tober with John Fiore, the first year head football coach at Montclair High. And John, we're in the fuzzy furlong uh, area of the field house here, and it's just a historic building, great facilities. And I know you couldn't be happier than be starting fresh here at a historic site at Whitman Field. Uh, it's phenomenal. You know, when you, um, I was actually here the other morning talking to every administrator in the district for Dr. Frank Alvarez, and uh, while he was doing his little retreat here and the first thing that I said to him is being a Montclair State University graduate uh, you're brainwashed at Montclair State forget about the athletic history of this place but this is one of the foremost uh, cutting-edge 
school districts in the state of New Jersey when it comes to academics. So as a teacher, I couldn't even, uh, I couldn't be any more excited than coming here to where, you know, everybody tries to get student teaching here when we were coming out and things of that nature. So that's a dream come true. And then, you know, as far as our football program, you know, you saw the 20 plus state championships in the weight room. And uh, I've met guys from the 40s, the 50s, and it seems like none of them have ever lost the game. You know, uh, I was on three state championships in the 40s. I was on three in a row in the 50s, you know. So to get back there and do those things and to the legacy that Clary Anderson and Butch Fortunato have left and some great coaches like uh, Jack Davies and Ed Labita, you know, it's a, it's a long line of historic coaches and big shoes to fill. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity. Steve Tober at Fuzzy Furlong Fieldhouse, Ahmad Bush, uh, well-recruited D1A safety from Montclair and also a wide receiver on offense. And Ahmad, one of the few seniors on this ball club, uh, you must be excited about 2010. Yeah, I can't wait to get on the field. This season is going to be a big season for me and also as a team. You know, hopefully December 4th will be at Giant Stadium. How about this 2010 season, Ahmad? Uh, they talk about Seton Hall prep in the American division of the Super Essex Conference, but you guys got to figure you're going to be right in the mix, and uh, who knows, maybe you can knock off the Pirates when you get there, but you have Union City on your mind. I guess it's got to be that one-game-at-a-time attitude. Yes, sir. Union City is the only team we're looking at. Actually, we're, not, we're worried about St. Joe's for Thursday coming up. We have mm -hmm. a game scrimmage. That will actually be um, our first, like, real, real game at, like, atmosphere. So um, we're going to learn. We're going to game plan this week. We're just going to get the feel for the season. And then after we go up to St. Joe's, we're going to be waiting on Union City to come down to Women's Field. Steve Tober with Aubrey Lewis, a junior two-way back for the Montclair Mounties, a transfer from Paramus Catholic. And Aubrey, you talk about the history of Montclair. <laughs> you can't get away from mentioning your granddad, the great Aubrey Lewis. So I had the fortunate uh, to know him uh, for many years and just a gentleman and a great person. And uh, you must know that his spirit lives on in this room and, uh, and in this complex. It must be special to you. Oh, it's, it's great. I mean, uh, people tell, tell, tell me not only was your grandfather a great football player, but was a great person. So that's what I, that's what I strive to do. I try to not only be a great football player on the field, but try to be nice to everybody and be a great person. And your dad, of course, Aubrey uh, Jr., played here at Montclair, too, uh, a great businessman and also a great track coach at Montclair State and also has done football. And I'm sure he, I know he's excited. The whole family is excited. And the town of Montclair is excited that you're back. And it must, uh, you must feel that reverberating from the community to you. Right, right. Yeah, I've definitely been feeling the love. Uh, I got a cut at the barbershop yesterday, and everybody <laughs> showed me a lot of, a lot of love. Uh, hugs, from, uh, hugs from everybody. I mean, I'm really excited to see I got a good feeling. Everybody in the team has a great attitude, so I'm really excited to get it rolling. The Montclair Mounties still enjoying the afterglow of a big season opening win and in a heart-stomping fashion over Union City. And talk about upcoming games, Dennis Jones, some great games to look at this weekend. Absolutely. As early as this Saturday night, 7 p.m., Montclair takes on North Bergen. And you got legendary coach Vin Ascalese at North Bergen, over 300 career wins, taking on Montclair. And that should be a great battle, Steve. Yeah, John Fiore looking to make it 2-0 as the new coach of the Mounties. At Honol Field and Glen Ridge, a tremendous Group 1 battle. Verona visits Glen Ridge. The Ridgers with Elijah Conte, Matt McMahon, Carl Castor, some great players going up against the Hillbillies. The Ridgers will be severely tested, but a big showcase game, Verona at Glen Ridge, 1 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Well, Steve, week one's in the books, and what a fantastic week it was. Can't wait for week two. Well, Dennis, throughout the fall, we'll bring you the best of the male and female athletes in all the sports. Montclair, Bloomfield, Glen Ridge, excelling on the fields. It's going to be a great fall. Well, come on back, because the only place you can find all that action is right here on the BaristaNet Sports Show.